Visit ccgcastle.com and get 5% discount on your purchase with TCG Center 5 code. Send us your book in exchange for Evolution Booster Box. Visit CCG Castle or check video description to learn more. How's it going guys? Welcome back to Pokemon TCG Center. In today's video, we'll be looking at Dual Mega Gardevoir EX deck for the standard format featuring Dragon EX and Hoopa EX. So if you're not familiar with the Mega Gardevoir, uh, 210 HP Mega Evolution from Gardevoir EX with the Fairy and Psychic type in its name. So uh, it can one hit knock out Mega Mewtwo because Mega Mewtwo is weak on the uh, Psychic, but it can also cause a lot of problems to very popular cards like a Giratina EX in the current format. Uh, how? Um, when uh, this is a Mega? Simply, just by playing Hex Maniac, you can one hit knock out with Desperate Ray uh, with two energies your opponent, Giratina EX, just like that. So you don't have to worry about it too much. Um, on the other side, um, it has resistance minus 20 on the Psyche, on the Darkness, so um, it's also very popular. Again, Dark Ranger Athena, uh, Friday Night Evil Tall, and any kind of the Evil Tall deck in this format, in my opinion, because it can reduce the damage for 20, it has 210 HP, and with 4 Fairy Drops, you can just buy so, mul so much time uh, multiple turns, like two or three turns, until your opponent actually managed to one hit knock with one of your Mega Card Wars, and on the other side, you can just snipe so many Pokemon from his bench, like Shamins, uh, like uh, Evil Talls, like uh, Giratina EXs, even uh, causing a lot of problems to those Greninja breaks. So it's just definitely one of the best decks for now, in my opinion, in a standard format. So, in addition to play this Mega Card War, you, uh, you have to play some backup attackers. Um, well, there's no backup attackers. Mega Gardevoir is just a lone attacker by itself. But you have a huge bench support for this Pokemon. You have two copies of Dragon IDX with the pull up ability, which says that when you play this Pokemon from your hand on your bench, you can put two basic Pokemon from your discard pile to your hand. It's very important because we can, with that Dragonite, uh, grab some Shamings, uh, some Hoopas, and we can have uh, each turn multiple uh, draft support cards uh, in our hand, uh, multiple um, multiple options. Uh, only thing that can actually stop this deck might be some kind of the Garbodor, but then we can just one hit knock on Garbodor with the Light Center. So it's still uh, some kind not that good. Um, so yeah, I was talking about Dragonite. So Dragonite uh, is a card from the Evolution. It's a very good card. Same thing as a Hoopa EX from the Ancient Origin. Well-known card because it can help with the Scundering and uh, set up three EX Pokemon from your bench, uh, from, your disc uh, from your deck to your um, bench. It's a very, very important card. In addition to that, um, also three copies of Shaman for the setup. So 14 Pokemons, 38 trainer cards, and 8 energies. Um, probably somebody... Uh, we'll play more than two Hoopas, more than two Dragonites, but I just decided to go with two to a line of them because I'm running four copies of Fairy Drops, and trust me, running this deck with Fairy Drop is just explosively good. So, um, four copies of Guard War EX for the best third one uh, possible start with the Guard War EX, so that's, that's just why. Okay, from the item cards, uh, one copy of Escape Rope. I always like to play one copy of Escape Rope in those uh, competitive decks, so I really like it. Uh, four copies of Fairy Drop always can help you uh, because uh, healing 100 damage per turn. If you have two Fairy Drops in your hand, in your hand is just ridiculous. It's it's just it's just way too it way it's way too strong. Let's say your opponent have um, six energies in play and he strike you with his Dark Ray EX for 140, 150 with the Fighting Fury Belt. That's minus 20, 130, and you take 130, play two Fairy Drops, and you're down to like. Uh, 30 damage, it's it's ridiculous. So you can just count how strong this fair drop featuring Mega Gardevoir really is. Uh, two copies of Mega Turbo, so to power up our um, Mega Gardevoir, no need more than two because um, only two energies are required to attack, so rank two of them is just enough. Uh, Super O times one, so you can reshuffle any three Pokemon from your disco pile back into your deck. I really like it. Maybe even two Super O would not be that bad. Um, four copies of Trainer's Mail, four Ultra Ball, four v -Sick. From supporter cards, of course, copy of Hex Maniac can help us to shut down Greninja, can help us to shut down uh, Giratina, can help us to shut down uh, Wild Plume, so we really like it, but even our opponent from uh, being able to set up. Uh, Lysander, two copies of Van, of course, um, you know, for the draft support. Uh, one copy of Olympia, really like the Olympia in this deck because uh, it's, it's just way too strong card in case of being paralyzed from 
or affected with any kind of special condition from your opponent Pokemon's like a Beedrill EX. Plus, you can also heal 30 damage. It's 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 way too strong card. It's it's just way too good. Uh, one copy of Ranger against those uh, against the Glacian EXs and uh, against the those uh, Regice Resistance Blizzard. Very important. Uh, four copies of Professor Sycamore. In addition to that, two Fairy Gardens to be able to free retreat. After you play your uh, Olympia, for example, if you have any fairy energy attached to one of your Pokemon in play, you can just easily retreat back to your uh, active Mega Gardevoir. So, in theory, you can heal up to 230 damage per turn with the fairy, four fairy drops and Olympia, or 80 just in, just in case you have one fairy drop in Olympia, which is also um, ridiculously strong. Uh, two copies of Skyfield. In addition to that, four Gardevoir Spiritlings, which is the first time that I actually played four Spirit Links, but that's just because I'm running um, uh, Mega Gardevoir with the Death Ray, and sometimes I would just force this card, maybe even my Gardevoir EX with the Spirit Link from the bench, so that's the reason why having four of them is not bad. And of course, eight Fairy Energies, so I can power up my Mega Gardevoir, use Death Ray, and of course, win matchups. So, um, in today's gameplay, I played with... Uh, um, three opponents. I managed to win two games and lost one. You will see that I lost against Weakness because I actually didn't pay too much attention to my Journey X, which is a very, very strong card with that Soul Blast. Trust me, it can strike for so many damage counters. And after one hit knockout, you're Mega Guard of War, and you simply can't one hit knockout 200 HP Pokemon. That's the biggest minus for the Mega Guard of War deck. So um, let's do some game tests so you can see how the deck works in action. So see you in the game. Okay, so time for battle. As you can see, we're waiting for my opponent to call the coin so we can kick off. Um, if I want the coin flip, definitely I want to go first. No reason to start second. Well, there's a Tails, which means that I will go first. Of course, I want to take advantage setting up here. It's very important, so no basic Pokemon for me in my opening hand. Let's see if that's the case for my opponent. Nope, so that means that he can take one extra card here. Alright, so I hope I can start with the Guard War EX. Maybe double Guard War will be very good. Okay, so Guard War, Shaving, couple Hoopas. Okay. That seems a little bit too much for the turn one, I guess. I can't complain. Oh, Giratina on the other side. Okay. Interesting. I need Hex Maniac so badly. I don't even know if I have one in my deck. Or it's just priced. Oh, it looks like it's priced. So that means only one thing. I need to attack my opponent. Giratina EX with my Luminous Blade. And in that way, I can strike for the one hit knockout and pretty much prevent him um, from being able to lock me with his ability. Um, I guess I'm fine for now. Don't looking forward to play anything. I have Spirit Link on my active one in case he attached that um, double dragon energy on the active Giratina. I can just use Link Blast and uh, knock him out. Max Elixir, unfortunately, for no energy. There is one a Trainer's Mail, so who knows what he can get with a Trainer's Mail. He can get Ultra Ball. Okay. And there's a Trainer's Mail for the Ultra Ball. Okay, Sycamore and Darkness Energy discarded, so that means that he might decide to take um, Hoopa for the setup, of course. Better than Shaman. So one Hoopa EX can give him opportunity to take probably Darkrai times two and one Shaman EX for the setup. That's probably what I should take. I don't know if he play Evil Tully EX or maybe um, High Dragon. Of course, you don't need High Dragon in this deck, but it can help in some situations against the. Uh, Jolteon EX, Flash Ray, for example. So, um, two Dark Rays and uh, one Fighting Fear Belt on the Giratina down to the bench. And Double Dragon Energy on the bench of Giratina. There's a Shaman for five. 
So this looks promising so far, I can tell that. As long as I can keep my Gardevoir um, in the active spot with uh, Luminous Blade ready to rock and roll, I don't need to worry too much about my opponent, um, Giratina on the bench. There was Max, uh, th that was one Max Elixir and N. Okay, that N will help me for sure. There is no doubt about that. So I'm getting a couple energies, a couple fair drops, Mag Turbo and Shaming X. Okay, not too many cards I can play, so I will just use my Link Blast, unfortunately just for a 60, which means the next turn I have opportunity to knock on my opponent Giratina EX. He's definitely in a disadvantage if he wants to attack me with his um, Giratina EX on the bench, because I can one hit knock him out with my Luminous Blade for 240. In order to use that attack, I can discard one energy. So there's another uh, V Seeker for Professor Sycamore this time. Actually, turn one, he didn't play V Seeker, but uh, he discarded one additional uh, V Seeker. Two energies in his discard pile, Baby Volt will discard, which means that he's not going to be able to recycle those energies back. There's another Fairy Drop, which means that this is a moment of truth. I'm going to use my Luminous Blade, and I'm striking for 240, which means that I'm taking the first two prize knockout here. So, a Man Card War and the V Seeker, which means next turn if he strike for 110, I do have two Fairy Drops in my hand, so I can easily heal uh, almost, yeah, pretty much 90% of the damage that he will output and does with his Dratina EX. So, probably this is gonna be it. I can see Rage Quit after this um, turn, probably. So, I can't play any more um, Tools, Stadiums which doesn't matter too much. Okay, so right now he just decided to play N and put me down to 4 cards. This might be a little bit tricky, especially if I miss opportunity to pull energy card. And I actually miss opportunity to pull energy card, but at least there's one fairy drop. Okay. There is a couple different options that I can do. Okay, there's Trainer's Mill for Big Crushing Hammer. If you can hit heads of the Crushing Hammer, it's gonna be a big deal. Unfortunately, it's a Tails. That means one thing. There's a Pearl City. Mm, I'm discarding my hoop, I guess. Way too big of a treat cost. Um, Chaos Wheel for 110. So I don't need to worry too much about Chaos Wheel as long as I can find that energy as the top deck. So far, there is no sign of the energy, but there's one fairy drop. But still, I can't simply survive this turn. So I need to hit something big with Trader's Mail, and I managed to hit something big, which is a one Professor Sycamore. So this will, that, that will give me definitely the opportunity to get that energy and oh my gosh, there is no energy card, which means that I'm just going to use my Link Blast only for the 60, but wow, maybe I could Mega Evolve um, and try to find the uh, Lysander. I'm definitely locked right now because I'm running only 8 energies. Next turn, next turn I'm putting my um, Guard War in the active position, that's for sure. Also that Pearl City actually uh, makes so much problems here. There is a Shame the X for my opponent, and he can set up for 5 extra cards. After this knockout, okay there's a Crushing Hammer. And another crush. I don't know why he. Why in the world would you play Crushing Hammer when you can just go for one ten and knock out your opponent's Pokemon in play? That just seems okay. He had Professor Sycamore. Still, that was not a good move. He should definitely attach that energy on his um, Darkrai. What the heck is going on? Another Crushing Hammer. He's flipping so many coins on the Crushing Hammer, and he didn't hit a single one. Four tails on the Crushing Hammer. And he have only 8 cards left. Give me that Lysander so I can Lysander his hoop on the bench. I'm gonna be the happiest man in the world. Why did he retreat? Why did he retreat? Can somebody explain why he decided to retreat and not use Chaos Wheel? Because he could go for 110 and he could, he could knock out my Carvory X. Um... I'm confused. I'm definitely confused. And I don't know why he did that. But I don't know that I will um, just play my end here and uh, basically 
get another spirit link that I can ultra ball for shame. Okay. I still don't know why why my opponent just decided to do that. Why he didn't attack with his Giratina Chaos Wheel. He could do that, but he decided not to do that. Maybe there was some kind of the backup plan. Maybe I just miss saw something. I don't know. There's a chance that I miss some miss saw something. I simply don't know, but I will probably find it out. One energy on the guard war. Um, I already play supporter card, which means that I can just use Link Blast. Um, but uh, for barely 30 damage, not the biggest output. Um, resistance on the Dark Cry is not affected. My guard war EX, so I don't need to worry too much about it. There's another energy card, which means that you can strike right now for uh, 130, 120, I guess. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yeah, 120. Um, I already played my fairy drops, and I played two of them. I actually shouldn't do that. Uh, for next turn, I have the Seeker on my long four Professor Sycamore and seven new cards, um, which means that I can retreat onto my bench as long as I have that uh, Fairy Garden. Oh, there's a Lysander, so he just decided to Lysander and knock on my Shaman for two prizes. Even that is not bad. But I'm still kind of confused. I will definitely need to recheck the replay of this game and make sure that everything was okay because I still don't know what the heck is going on. Why he just didn't use his Chaos Wheel for 110. Um, okay, one Ultra Ball. Okay, let's just go Ultra Ball for Mega Guard War. I don't, I don't need to have more Shame and EX in play. I will need them later, probably. I can just, I guess. Maybe even end my opponent down to four cards because his hand is a freaking huge. I just want to reduce the amount of the cards in his hand right now. There's a Dragon IDX, which is a good one. So I'm going to use my Desperay and discard Shaming, Guard War. Um, Shaming one Guard War, it's okay. 110. Next turn, I can knock out his Dark Ray, but the most important thing, if I can find Lysander, I can just go simply and knock out his um, Giratina X on the bench. I could even discard with that Ultra Ball V Seeker and then play Shame and have that Ultra Ball maybe for Mega Turbo, but I simply just didn't want to take a risk too much. I just simply decided to go on the other side um, just to have option for another V Seeker later. Um, there's another energy attached in his Giratina. He's going all in with his Giratinas, of course, in this way. Uh, but as I mentioned it, once he decides to put his Giratina in the active spot, I can just retreat and knock him out with my Luminous Blade. And then the game is definitely over. So far I have two more energies left. There's one Dark Pulse for a huge 140. It's a lot of damage counters, that is for sure. Um, there's a super old for me, which means that I can recycle some of the energies back into my deck. And I will definitely do that. So, a couple energies on Dragonite. Um, Dragonite EX, so I can pull from my and discard Hoopa and uh, Shaman. Of course, with the Hoopa, I will try to set up for that Mega Gardevoir from my uh, deck, so I can reduce the size of the cards. There's one more fair drop left, which means if I can hit that fair drop, I could just retreat. Um, but I need to be cautious. I totally forget about that Giratina on the next turn. Uh, but yeah, I, I forget also I can just Lysander and knock out his um, Shame on the bench, so don't need to worry too much here. Um, Shame EX play for um, four cards. If I can hit fairy drop, I can heal a lot of damage counters here and the most important thing is that I can also play my Olympia and heal a lot more damage counters here. Um, there's a escape probe which I don't want to play right now I just want to uh, finish his dark ray with my desperate discarding pretty much everything yes pretty much everything 
130 plus 140, 270 in total. I discarded pretty much everything. If you don't have N for the next turn, then the game should be over because I can just um, be sick. Because uh, I can just Lysander one of his um, Shamus on the bench uh, for the knockout, of course, and uh, finish the game. But I can even play Escape Rope and force him to um, promote maybe his Dark Ray or uh, Mr. Hoopa EX. And there's a N, a huge N. But still, I'm hoping to get. Uh, okay, Dragon Eye EX. That's a cool. Dragon Eye EX can give me two Shame in EXs. So I think, I think that I can still find a Lysander from 22 cards. I hope I can. Because those Giratinas are going to be very annoying, again. Top deck for me is a Hoopa EX. Before I go with the Hoopa, I'm going to play my Dragonite. So I can put two of my Shamans. Only one can be played because of the Pearl City. So, um, Shaman for three. Um, there's a huge Escape Rope, which will just put another um, Giratina EX here, of course. I can see another Giratina for him. Which means that uh, I'm going with my uh, Sycamore for 7. He has only one card left, which means that I definitely need to hit that Lysander. And there we go, there's a Lysander. More than that, there's one Trainer's Mail for me. Um, so I guess I will... Take that Skyfield, there's another Trainer's Mail. I don't know what he have in his hand left, so I'm just going to put that energy... I think... onto my Shaman EX. I can desperate to discard my Dragonite. And I can even discard a Shaman EX. Both of these Pokemons can be discarded. Um, just because I can get rid of some of the cards from my hand. Where later I can just find maybe Super Old Ultra Ball. Uh, there's Olympia. So he played Olympia, which means that the game is over because he can strike for 110. Not enough for the knockout. So I managed to gather it against those uh, Giratinas. That lock was definitely good. But at the end, um, Lysander will be enough for the victory here. So I can just discard uh, my another... Megardo from the bench in order to one hit knock at his Shaman X for 120 and uh, drop my last two prize cards. It was dramatically uh, against those Giratinas, but uh, at the end I managed to snap a victory. Unfortunately, if he's played smarter, uh, he could win this game, but unfortunately he didn't. I don't know why. And also those crushing hammers were just waste for nothing, so it's a GG. Okay, so uh, to game number two. Waiting for my opponent to call that uh, coin flip. So I can go um, probably second. Yes, it is. All right, let's take a look at the opening hand. There's one guard where he acts kind of like that. Okay, I have Shaman X in my hand. Not looking forward to play that yet. All right, guard war. Annoying guard war X on the other side. All right. I definitely like Mega Guard War deck. Um, I must say that I fell in love with it, it's just, it, it, it's interesting to play, it's definitely interesting to play, and it's another Giratina EX, and uh, yeah, a lot of fun with it, uh, a lot of different ways and options for how you can play this deck, uh, I really hate that Chaos Wheel, so I will need Pokemon Ranger for sure, okay. So, uh, Hoopa EX, Shaman EX, 2 Mega Guard Wars, Escape Rope, a V-Seeker, that end totally, totally disaster. That end is totally disaster, I can tell that. At least I can Escape Rope, remove his Giratina from the active position. Um, a Journey, a Lugia, a Shaman. Alright, alright. Maturnia, Lugia, uh, six cards in his hand. Travish, okay, and Shaman, the last card. Or maybe he has something else to play, like a Fighting Fury Belt, like a Floatstone, like an Energy Attachment. Yeah, there's a double, uh, there's already a double Dragon Energy and Shaman for three. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not running any kind of disruption. 
in this deck like uh, Team Flutter Grunt or um, Enhanced Hammers or Crushing Hammers, so I can't discard his Double Dragon Energy here, but I can use my Escape Rope. Escape Rope seems like a good idea here, because um, next turn he can just find another way to put an energy and uh, just completely um, disable me. So I'm thinking about playing that hoop on the bench without effect and going with the Shaman for two. Two is better than one, I guess. But definitely that end was devastating. Um, there's just a Spirit Link. More than that, I'm done. I'm completely done. I can't do anything else. So next turn at least I can have two Mega Gardevoirs. Is it smart to have two copies of Mega Gardevoir in play against my opponent Giratina EX, Chaos Wheel, and Recondent Pearls Pulse? Mm, nope. But there's another really secret for N, so I can just say thanks a lot, my friend. I missed the opportunity to attach energy turn one, but hopefully um, turn two is gonna be much better. Okay, there's Olympia. As long as he can miss that Flowstone to retreat, I'm going to be fine because I'm going to be able to power up some of the energy cards on my Gardevoir, which means that I can go with my Luminous Blade for the one hit knockout against his Giratina EX. That's the most important thing. There's a Flowstone, so he can go and strike for 110. Okay, I'm kind of worried, but I have Olympia. I have Olympia here, and uh, I will definitely play it. Um, there's a trainer's mail for N, which I can use. Before I decide to use that, I will just buy some time here. I'm putting my Hoopa here in the active spot and passing my turn. Um, I just want to set up my Garvor EX and Luminous Plate so I can go for the one hit knockout against his Retina EX. That's the most important thing for me right now, and I'm just focusing on that. Okay. So my turn is Professor Sycamore top deck. Uh, I'm thinking about just going with my N is sometimes better, especially for the later. Okay, I'm happy with this. I'm going to lose my uh, Hoopa EX, that is for sure, but uh, at least I can Mega Evolve my Garbor on the bench. So I can have secondary option to attack with it, especially when I get some uh, Fairy Drops and the Mega Turbos. So, there's a double course energy also attached. Oh no, there's a big crushing hammer. Hopefully it's gonna be Tails. Hopefully. Oh, okay. Chaos Will. Which means that next turn, I, I, I can I can this turn actually um, knock out his and Giratina EX with my Luminous Blade, which is very important. There we go. Energy and Luminous Blade. 240, and I managed to get rid of that Giratina EX. That was the biggest problem here. The biggest issue is because I was not able to play Stadium card, Tool cards, Special Energies. Unfortunately, I'm not playing Special Energy cards. But there's a Majorni EX. Right now, he can respond with a knockout with his Majorni EX because I'm actually weak on the metal. And then again, I'm in a huge, huge, huge disadvantage, which means that he's going down to like a two price cards. Probably, I'm going to lose this matchup. Um, probably. Maybe not. I mean, he had 200 HP. There is no way that I can one hit knock at Majernia, so that means only one thing. I simply can't win this matchup anymore. He had four prize cards. After this turn, he will have two prize cards. I can respond back, knocking out maybe one more Pokemon um, from his bench, but Majernia was just too much. My journey was just too much, and unfortunately, I can't get rid of none of these energy cards attached to it. So, I can maybe just try to go find a way to Lysander, Hoopa maybe, um, but still, I can go for 190 maximum. So let's see, Trainer's Mail uh, for another Fairy Drop, kind of good I guess, but still not enough. Okay, I will keep one more Ultra Ball in my hand just for another Shaman X. I can set up Hoopa, why not? I'm hunting that Mega Turbo so I can power up my Mega God of War and the Knockout one of my opponents and Banshee Pokemons, at least I can do that. 
at least I say that okay so there's another guard war and the two shamans unfortunately I did my best um, that end turn one was just devastating again that Giratina was um, devastating and again, I didn't pay too much attention on his uh, Majernia down to the bench. So that's the reason why at the end I actually lost this game. Okay, so Guard War, Shaman for four more cards. One, two, three, four. There's just a Dragon IDX. Uh, yes, bring me a few more Pokemons from my disco pile, like uh, two more Pokemons from my disco pile, like a Hoopa and another Gardevoir. Right now I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 Pokemons, 8 plus 110 is 190. Why that Majernia has 200 HP? My goodness. Okay, I don't even have... Hmm. I mean, I could, I could probably power up somehow my Dragonite with four energies to use that um, Hyper Beam, but that's kind of way too much. Let's just try to get um, uh, that. Okay, one Ultra Ball for one Mega Guard War, and one more Ultra Ball for Mega Guard War and Super Road, so I can actually play and and have much more um, luck to hit that um, mega turbo i guess yep there's a mega turbo so i did pretty good i i do my best actually here i actually do my best and uh, i can just say well played to my opponent because he get me with that majority ax i totally uh, forget about majority x and he also have resistance minus 20 so no freaking way that I can one hit knock of that beast. That beast just helps him to uh, win the matchup. So we should definitely go to the game number three. So um, for today, best of three in this Mega Guard War dual type deck review and the gameplay. Okay, so you can go pretty much with another Soul Blaster for one for three sixty, just like that for three hundred and sixty. Um, hmm. Yeah, something like uh, weakness policy should work. If I have one weakness policy, that would be just completely insane. Um, there's a V Seeker, and uh, he's attempting to take that. And I'm not sure why, because he can still one hit back at my uh, Mega Guard War. Okay. There's a floatstone and uh, Mr. Uh, Luke one five one one. Will you attack my Mega Guard War and uh, finish the game, or you're just looking forward to retreat like my opponent in the game number one? If you did that, I'm going to be confused. How in the world he hit for one forty right now? When I have weakness on a metal, what? I'm weak on the metal, and he strikes with the soul blast. How I reduce the damage? This card is. Is there some kind of the catch, or what? Because I'm totally confused. Yeah, I'm definitely confused here. Okay, I don't know what is going on here, but somebody should definitely explain me that. So, Soul Blaster... I mean, I I'm weak, so... Okay, whatever. Whatever. Because right now I lost the game. Okay, maybe not, but actually I did. 
Um, I can play Sycamore for 7 and uh, the best thing that I can get is nothing. I can just, uh, I guess, um, Desperate for the knockout and take two more prize cards. Uh, which is a Pokemon Ranger and a Fairy Drop, uh, which means that he can uh, go for 80 right now, but he need, yeah, he have enough for the knockout. Um, there's a Sycamore for 7, but still I don't know why Majorny X uh, Metal Pokemon didn't one hit knock on my Megavar Ward. Th there's too many glitches in this game, or I'm just missing something. Okay, I'm still confused. Somebody should act actually tell me what the heck is going on. This game is full of glitch, especially that Majority X. That Majority X is actually full of the glitches. With that Mystic Heart, it's just blocking bursting balloons. Right now, my Mech Guardwar survived, which is just ridiculous. And there's a Deep Hurricane for the GG. Okay, let's move to the game number three. I will. I should definitely ask the staff what the heck is going on about that. Okay, so I started the game number three without uh, sound, so I end up recording it uh, after the game ends. So, as you can see, I'm starting first in the game number three. So, my opening hand is just um, Guard War uh, featuring Hoopa EX. So, it's not that bad hand. On the other side is Dark Rage Ratina. As usual, when you see Double Dragon Energy and Darkness Energy, uh, you pretty much can assume that your opponent plays a Dark Rage Ratina match um, deck. And uh, yeah, it was the Dark Rage Ratina match. So, of course, Dark Rage can be uh, problematic because he can one hit knock out your um, Gardevoir or Mega Gardevoir, but Ratina can also be sometimes a problem with uh, its uh, mobility. So, um, there are two Gardevoirs, turn one for me in play, and one Hoopa EX for that Skandering. So with the Hoopa, I searched my deck for just a single Guard War, and I decided to put it onto the bench just because I have Sycamore in my hand, so there's no reason to play more Shamans and setup uh, set cards and stuff like that because I just end up discarding them all with my Sycamore uh, for 7. So it's better to have them for the late game, I guess. So, and there are two um, God of War Spirit Links, which is a great end energy card, and I just decide to pass my third here because that's pretty much it. There is no reason to play Trainer's Mails because why in the world would you play Trainer's Mail if your opponent can just uh, have N in his hand and you can just lose your Trainer's Mails on nothing? So, at least there's a Olympia, which is a good card, definitely, and I really like it. Um, so, he played one Ultra Ball and uh, he discarded. A double Dragon Energy, which is always good to see, in exchange for Giratina EX. I didn't see Hoopa EX in his deck, so unfortunately he didn't have one. Maybe he was priced, who knows. So he ends his turn just attaching one Double Dragon Energy. Right now I can play my Trainer's Mails pretty much for the Skyfield, so I can uh, I can have more than uh, three, uh, five, five Pokemons that play with the Skyfield, which is, I guess, good, especially for the one-hit knockout against the Dark Ray. And of course, with the trainer's mail number two, I decide to pick up that N and put it into my hand, just because uh, I decide to set up my Dragonite and uh, play N because I can easily uh, have more damage counters on the bench. So there's another Guard War Spirit Link which can easily be attached, but unfortunately, as you can see here, I didn't hit uh, Mega Guard War, so I was not able to finish this game pretty much on my maybe turn three or four. Um, knocking out his Shaman EX, so I just used my Luminous Blade for 30 damage, unfortunately, and that was pretty much it for my uh, turn 2. So, I'm um, waiting for my opponent and looking what uh, his next move, he just 
decide to put one of his dark rays on the bench, of course. And uh, he played that trainer's mail. In addition to that trainer's mail, he attached the flowstone on his Giratina on the bench. Not sure why he did that. Why he didn't try to maybe attach that on the maybe Shaman X and the retreat on something like uh, Dark Ray, or maybe try to find Baby Evil Tall and retreat on it. So he just decided to keep his Shaman X in the active spot for easy to price, um, which I actually did. So I just managed to top deck my Mega Gardevoir, and of course, I decided to attach my Fairy Energy to my Bench at Gardevoir with a Spirit Link, evolve into my Mega Gardevoir, attach another Gardevoir Spirit Link, and go with the Sycamore for 7. I could even go with my Hex Maniac, but I just decided to play Sycamore for 7 so I can later find my Hex Maniac if I need it. And of course, here I just, just decided to use my Desperate Ray and to discard um, my Dragon Knight and Hoopa EX in exchange for 130 damage, of course, and for the two prizes. And the one was a Fairy Energy, and the second one was the Ultra Ball. So, as you can see right here, um, Giratina EX is in the active position. I have a Hex Maniac in my Disco Pile, which means that I can even knock out his Giratina EX with my uh, Mega Garvor, but in uh, order to do that, I just simply need to find a Hex Maniac and the V Seeker, of course. So, um, two energies attached on the Dark Ray, and the V Seeker for N played by my opponent, of course, puts me down to the four cards in my hand, which means that probably I will not draw V Seeker, and actually that happened. I didn't get a V Seeker, but I did get my Hoopa EX and the two um, copies of my Fairy Drop. So basically with two Fairy Drops in play at the same turn I can heal 100 damage counters from my active Mega Gardevoir and as you can see right now he can strike for 120 actually 110 with his um, Dark Ray EX and that's just ridiculous if you can just heal 100 damage without actually discarding energies or something like that. that that's just like you have one extra turn against your opponent and of course I decide to set up my Hoopa EX uh, for a um, few more uh, Shaman EXs I, just grab two Shamans and one Mega Gardevoir, and I just simply decide to evolve Mega Gardevoir without energies because I simply want to use my Gardevoir to counter my opponent at Giratinus on the bench. Um, just in case, you know, if I just miss opportunity to get at Hex Maniac in a very crucial situation. And as you can see right there, I can just use my Desperate Ray and go for 110 plus uh, extra Pokemons, 130. Since I'm also Psychic Type, I have Psychic Type Dark Ray Hair Resistance, so it will be 20 damage less. And that's the way how I end my turn, striking for 110 my opponent Dark Ray. And right now we're in the middle of the game, so uh, waiting to see my opponent next move what he can do here. Unfortunately for him, next turn his Dark Ray would be knocked out, so he definitely needs to do, he need, definitely need to do something uh, in exchange to uh, keep his Dark Ray somehow alive. As you can see right here, there's a Trainer's Mail that he played. And of course, I'm just checking what do I have in my Discord pile, so I can basically a set of tactics for my next turn. So there's one Ultra Ball played uh, for Professor Sycamore and the uh, Enhance Hammer. Of course, Enhance Hammers are not uh, useful against the Mega Gardevoir because Mega Gardevoir does not have a single, a single special energy. So you don't have to worry about Enhance Hammers, but against Crushing Hammer is a whole different story. And there's one double dragon energy and the shaman for five. So he was searching for that one hit knockout here, as you can see. But unfortunately, I saved my uh, day with the two copies of Fairy Drop in just a single turn. That was just a brilliant move, I guess. And that definitely puts me in a big advantage against my opponent, especially because I was down to four prize cards and uh, he still didn't, he was still not close even to take one price, not even um, two or three of them. So there was uh, one good play which was a escape rope and in that case I just decided to put my Cardivore EX without energies um, in the active position because there was actually a better chance to retreat him with my Fairy Garden 
but I could also use my V Seeker, as you can see, for Olympia. Heal 30 damage and retreat for free. So that was also one of the um, plans. And of course, he uses um, his Dark Ray to attack with it. So, um, of course, he's going to escape rope on his Dratina with the Flowstone, so he can have that um, free retreat, of course, back to the Dark Ray in case if he needed. And right here, he actually surprised me with the Pearl City. But that Pearl City was actually uh, placed on his side, so he just got rid of his Shamans from play. Alright, so at this moment, I was thinking about, well, I definitely need to hit my Stadium card, but then just N happened, and I was like, oh no, no, there's another N, I really don't like those Ns. But then I managed to pull um, Energy Card, Fairy Garden for the Retreat, and the most important thing, Shaman EX for 5 with Ultra Ball. So I was just like, wow, what the heck, that N was just brilliant. And uh, yeah, pretty much, I just need to knock out his Dark Ray, and after that I just need a Lysander, and uh, I can just Lysander and knock out his Giratina on the bench, so the game would be over, and I was kind of happy. So he managed to strike for 150, unfortunately not enough for the knockout, because my Guard War also have resistance, minus 20 on the Darkness. And there's no way that he can one-hit knockout uh, Guard War without uh, at least uh, 8 energies in play. So I decided just to retreat on my Mega Gardevoir, of course, I set up my Shaman, discard as many cards as I can, because I was also preparing for that um, upcoming, uh, maybe uh, possible N from my opponent, in theory, you know, you can uh, he can always play uh, something like an N and put you down two cards, and as many cards as you have in your uh, deck, there's a uh, less chance that you're going to be able to drop something that you will need. And as you can see, I still had two, um, I still had two copies of Fairy Drops in my deck. And the good thing is that with the Mega Guard, where I can just discard my Guard of uh, EX with the bench with the damage counters. So I managed to get that Lysander here. I could just go with the Lysander on his bench if I just want to do that, but I just simply didn't want to do that. I just decided to knock up his Dark Ray EX here and take my two prize cards and uh, pretty much wait for that N for my opponent because at this point of the game I knew that he's just going to uh, play either way V Seeker or N from his hand and try to uh, lock me down to two cards where he would probably put me in a disadvantage but a good thing was that in that case I would just need just a single Fairy Energy so I can counter his uh, Giratina and knock him out and that was just pretty good, and uh, he pretty much just decided to put that baby evil tall, and he actually retreated on his uh, baby evil tall, which means that he just used Oblivion Wing and strike for 10, and that was